In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create forms using HTML. First thing we need to do is add in the code that tells the browser that we're making a form. You can just do the plain form code, or if you want to have the results mailed to someone, you can do the form action mail to, and then you can put your email address right here. You can then put any series of questions that you'd like. We have a text field which is good for open-ended questions. So the type would be text. And then the name equals would verify what kind of question it was that you were doing. So I'm going to do input type equals text name equals and since this question is going to ask you your first name that's what I'll put there. That's going to identify the name. And then you'll notice the form field pop up. We can also do radio buttons. They're used if you want to select one answer choice. So the input type would be radio. The name is the question. Value would be identify the answer. So I could copy this one. And instead of text, I would change it to radio. And maybe I'm going to ask hair color. So the question, the name would say hair color to identify the question. Value would identify the potential answer. And you'll notice that it gives me a circle. But you'll notice nothing popped up beside it. Even though I put that the answer was black, we don't see anything beside it. So you still need to format your questions. So you could still do a P tag and type um, So I've got my question and then now I need to type the potential answers. So beside this I could put black and then you could just copy this so that you can have additional options to choose from. We can have checkboxes if you want people to select multiple things. The input type would be checkbox. The name identifies the question. The value identifies the answer. So I can just paste that same question and from text I'm going to change it to checkbox. And maybe this time I'm going to ask them a question about their pets. And the answer for this one. And the value would be whatever the answer is. So if dog was the choice for this one. So you notice checkbox pops up, but I still need to actually type a question. So I can do a P tag with select all of the pets that you own. And if I want this question to go down on its own line, just close that P tag off. And then beside that, I actually need to put an answer. And then you can copy that to get additional options and then just change out the values. Just be careful if you copy and paste that you do change out the values. or else when you receive the results in your email they'll all say dog even if you change this out here. So if you change this to cat the value has to change as well. And that's a multiple select. We have a drop down list that you can do and you still have to do the value and the name. Remember the name identifies the question the value identifies the answer and that's the behind the scenes information that you'll be receiving in your email. So you first want to put a P tag with the question and then we have our drop down list. So for the name I put type of car if you ever copy from Word, you will have to redo the quotation marks in order to get the code to work. 
and for each answer choice it goes inside of the option tags but again you have to change the value even though I wrote sob here I'd have to put it here as well when you're finished with the entire form you want to do an input a submit button so input type equals and go ahead and add the value of submit as well and now you have submit button if you want it on its own line you can add a break tag and now it's on its own line so this is how you do forms. It's really important to remember that the name identifies the question, the value identifies the answer. Make sure that if you're copying and pasting that you change the values.